Hi everyone! I'm going to show you how to add navigation links to your website footer. Footer navigation links can improve the user experience of your website, making it simple for site visitors to find what they need. Adding internal footer links can also be helpful for SEO, as you add more links pointing to pages within your website, and it also helps to enhance a logical website structure. So let's go ahead and add navigation links to my website footer. I'm currently logged into website.com, and I'll just scroll down to the footer. Remember that the footer is global, which means the changes you make here will be made on the footer on all of your website pages. So we'll go ahead and click on the footer, and then on the left, scroll down to Navigation Links. Just click Edit, and now you'll be able to add the links you want to appear on your footer. We'll click Add New Link. So you can add internal links, and these are pages on your website. We'll choose a page, and we'll add the most relevant pages for easy access. You can also choose which section of the page you would want visitors to first land on when they click the link. So I'll choose top of page, and then click Save, and I'll go ahead and add more pages. So my website doesn't have a store, but if you have one, you can link to the store home. As well, you can also link to a store collection, such as sale, to make it easier for your website visitors to find it. You can also link to a file. Click here to select file. And you can go ahead and upload a file. Or if you've already uploaded a file to the file manager, you can choose that one. So for example, if you have a website for a wedding venue, you may want to include a link to download a PDF of your venue booking policies. So I have that right here. I'll choose it and then click Save. Now you can choose what action you want to happen once a visitor clicks the link to the file. I'm going to choose to allow visitors to download the file, but you can also choose to have it open in the same window or open in a new tab. You could change the download file name and then click Save. I'll just create a label for this link. Now you can also add links to your contact information, like your email and your phone. I'll choose to add email. I'll add the email address. And a subject line. Click Save. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the label just so it says email us. So after you've added all the links, feel free to change the labels, which is how the link will appear in your footer. You can also click these dots on the left here. Just click and drag to rearrange the navigation links, and when that's done, click Save. So you can see all the navigation links right here, and if you want to edit that further, just click on it, click the pencil icon, or again you can click under navigation links on the left click Edit. When you're happy with it, remember to publish your changes to make it go live. That's it for this video! You'll see how easy it is to add navigation links to your website footer. Remember to subscribe to our channel to learn how easy it is to make a website. Thanks for watching!